back speaking with Leslie Chong this morning of Just Stocks from Imugen. Leslie, morning. Hi, Andrew. Leslie, significant update from you this morning here. Uh, your phase one on Carlytics trial advancing now to the combination arm treatment. Significant milestone, Leslie. Tell us a bit more. Yes, so I am thrilled. Uh, we know, in fact, that our CF33, our oncolytic virus, loves to replicate in solid tumors. We've got proof of that. But now we've taken CF33, which is the backbone of oncolytics. But this one actually flags a solid tumor or covers a solid tumor with a marker called CD19. Then we add almost like a just a, a product that only goes after CD19 targets called Blincido. It's a bispecific marketed by Amgen. So we have that in combination. So we are just about to open that cohort of patients where we're going to see the combination. You mentioned this is a potential paradigm shift in the treatment of solid tumors. Uh, just how so? So it's first in class. There's nothing like it. There is nothing out there that actually covers a solid tumor with one disease, essentially, and then have it treated with something. It is revolutionary. Um, we are delighted that we're at the stage so expeditiously. Um, we are enrolling major cancer centers across US and hopefully some in Australia to bring this product to more patients in need. Just remind us, Leslie, what's the, the root of administration here? So this one in particular is intratumoral. And so, but we're also looking and interrogating an intravenous arm approach where we dose by IV and then we follow it up with Blincido as well. So both approaches, IT and IV. And as far as the, the monotherapy arm, you were looking at patients with ovarian breast and melanoma, were you? That's right. Those are the three patients that came on to the IT arm. We also have a cholangio patient on the IV and uh, that is dose escalating as well. And we're looking at the safety of the monotherapy. We'll have a CRC, a cohort review committee, and then we'll do another combination with Blincido in the IV space. But I'm thrilled that we have opened our IT and Blincido arm. And as you say, this is a, a first in-class treatment. What's the size of the, the market opportunity for this? Well, look, I mean, solid tumor. So Blincido is currently approved in heme diseases or blood cancer diseases. That's roughly about 10% of cancer type. If you can open up a product as powerful as Blincido or Yescarta, the CD19 um, marketed or uh, aimed you know, the the targets for that, then you can actually open up that 90% of, of the solid tumor types. And so um, I would say the market is huge. So Leslie, what are your upcoming milestones? What news can we expect to hear from you? So we've got ongoing uh, news that will be um, bringing out for the mass study. We've got ACR as well as the cholangiocarcinoma foundation for those. With our oncarlytics, we uh, likely will get lots of um, submission and admission um, and approvals to major cancer centers, and as well as our azer cell that is ongoing in our confirmation study. And I suppose just, just as you mentioned it, is there much happening with them, Eugene, as far as industry conferences and presentations at the moment? Absolutely. Uh, we're at major cancer um, conferences. I mean, we have products that are quite active. We're sort of an embarrassment of riches that we've got a lot of products that have actually uh, gone on to give responses to patients. So yes, we will be at major cancer conferences. And a lot of products, Leslie, you'd imagine at some point would be of interest to Big Pharma. Well, you know, um, we keep developing our products for patients. And I always say the uh, you've got to follow the science and pharma will come. Following the science. Leslie, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Andrew.